Hello, beautiful souls. Because this higher timeline already exists energetically, it might feel very off to you to be doing things on your own or to be alone in some sense here in the physical on this particular timeline at this time. But know that nothing is going wrong in all of this. In fact, I feel that the reason there's so much heaviness around the heart space is because you do have this very powerful gift and ability of sensing into these higher timeline potentials. And this can create some pain at times, because you are so highly intuitive that you feel those disconnects in a much more amplified way than other people feel them. When I'm talking about disconnects, I mean you can sense that there are higher potentials, connections, solutions, etc. on these higher timelines. And when you can sense into those and then are also consciously aware of the current reality, it can actually create amplified feelings of tension or sadness. Someone who is less capable of sensing into these higher potentials might actually have a kind of bliss in their ignorance, so to speak. And I don't mean ignorance in a negative connotation. I mean it in the literal sense, meaning they are unaware. They aren't necessarily aware of these higher timeline potentials, and therefore they won't feel that sadness or that longing for them, if that makes sense. I know this is a very esoteric conversation, but I feel like for someone listening, this really gets to the core of who you are as a soul, some of your profound intuitive gifts and abilities, and how some of those gifts, although they are gifts from a spiritual perspective, can actually create at times certain negative symptoms or side effects. Okay, so finally, let's get into shuffling the cards. Now, if you would like me to channel specifically for you and your situation, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. These are forms of energetic transference, and this allows me to pick up more easily on your energy and channel more specifically for you and your situation. So here we have the sun in the reverse position. This is really interesting. This speaks to some kind of a delayed new beginning. And the sun here is clarified by the Six of Cups in the reverse position. This Six of Cups reversed can speak to someone who is holding on to the past, possibly seeing a situation for its potential rather than its current reality. And again, this plays perfectly into what we just spoke about. I'm hearing someone's guide say, you have this powerful spiritual gift of being able to sense into the highest potential of others, but you still have to honor yourself. This means your physical current timeline self and respond and react according to how that person is treating you in the 3D world. In other words, either withdraw your energy or set boundaries when someone is not acting in alignment with their own higher version of self. Even though you can see that potential, it's important to really honor yourself as the beautiful physical being you are in this current timeline from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe.